And then when speaking of COVID, when COVID happened, I think the people that I've talked to, there are so many underlying things that were happening that people haven't really noticed. And then COVID just let everything, I mean, it opened the gates to every disruption that there is. In in your expertise and in your experience in this field, how much did COVID affect supply chains in general? And what were the things that, that some companies did in order to mitigate all of this? Good question. Again, uh, I think the supply chain, which is heavily reliant on the supplies anyway, especially mm. food, they are pretty much they're screwed because they depend on the supplier. So now they want to do the insourcing, bringing materials in. Uh, it's probably late. And the people are thinking we're doing it. They're thinking to localize production, localize suppliers. Mm -hmm. But it takes time. It takes quality approval. It takes sourcing. It, you know, it, it, it takes effort. And you, in, in, in any business, you are the same people who actually managing the current supply chain are supposed to find the solutions at the same time. So it's not easy for the people who are working. So we be mindful of, of, of that topic. So let me give you actually, I, last night I posted an example, uh, a blog on the three companies who did pretty well in this, mm -hmm. in this uh, supply chain issues. Unfortunately, all of the three companies I mentioned are big brand like Apple, mm -hmm. Ford and uh, Tesla. Mm -hmm. uh, the classic example of the chip shortages, right? So Apple yeah. survived those chip shortages because they, they planned very well on, on that topic, right? Similarly, if you think about um, uh, Tesla, Tesla make their own chip box, right? So yes. it could not get affected at the same time as well, okay? Take example of Amazon, who has taken the full logistics of their own in their hand. They have, they have got their own plane. They are actually moving into... Mm -hmm shipping company as well because they can't be mm. bothered with the shipping company screwing them over and over and over again because they move so much so much so much traffic i mean uh, mm. as you've seen the news that jeb bezos went in and he bought he bought the biggest uh, uh, fleet of electrical vans in india right so the point i'm making is is following that if you would have planned better uh, and because of those disruptions, some of the companies, as uh, the the ones I've named, have come out better. So, so it's a matter of of planning and then proper stockpiling. It's always contingency planning. If you are if you are contingency planning, I know everybody have it. In some business, they call it business continuity plan. I know it's in the piece of paper. I think most good businesses have it. All the good businesses I've worked with have it. I was in Saudi last week, and uh, and they are one of the biggest distributors in the in the region. And mm -hmm. they use PPL. I, I visited their warehouse. I looked at the warehouse. Pretty nice, pretty decent, all good. Uh, staff implemented. A very well run business. And then ask them the question, right? And they do multi brand. They don't just sell one brand. They sell multi brand. It's all in the same warehouse. Uh, so I asked them a question. Okay, what will happen that if this warehouse burn down? Right. And they are, just to give you a number, they are 70 to 80 million dollar business. I'm not talking small numbers. I'm not talking about small distributor. Right. They did not have answered that question. Mm -hmm. like, like literally no answer. Right. Wow. Yeah. And the lead time they buy their pr product is four, four and a half months. Mm -hmm. So they're sitting on 30 million dollar inventory. The lead time is four months. If that warehouse burned down, which is possible, they, they don't have a product to sell. So the point of that example is, yes, business continuity and thinking about that is one thing, but actually you need to simulate. You really need to assume one day that, you know, something going to go wrong, COVID going to happen. You won't get the parts. You won't get the container. How are you going to serve the market? How are you going to serve your customers, give them a product when they need, how they need it, and probably the cost they need it. 